The GOAT G-Shock was barely launched after 5 years of Casioc existence, providing one of the best sensorial experiences I've ever tried. The brand launched recently the manga collection and shortly it became sold out. Because this watch offers an amazing perceptual contradiction due to the two-dimensional aspect. And checking out social media apparently a lot of people have missed it. Because this is a limited edition made specially for Japan. This GA2100 MNG basically applies the culture of the Japanese manga comic books into a Japanese popular design. G-Shock nailed it, what else can you desire? I might be too old to collect such a piece and be excited about it, but I grew up with GOAT movies like Kenshiro or Akira, movies launched before I was born. The main point is such a technique of comic book illustrations applied into a faceted octagonal design really pops, creating the feeling of a watch made from paper. That's the wow factor about it. But we'll get back to that. Because guess what, to some extent the new manga Kasioke, which is already gone, created a moon swatch effect. Due to the uber cool sketchy design of the Kasioke and the unknown quantity proposed by the brand, whoever had the eyes for it pre-ordered it in advance, that includes the opportunistic sellers and now the watch is sold for at least double the price of the retail one. I paid for it around $170, which I believe the price was already a bit inflated, but now they are sold with at least $250 on eBay, and that mainly happens for one good reason, the bespoke handmade aspect of the watch. From time to time, popular brands like Bulgari likes to highlight their genesis of Italian artists. But why is this powerful? Because it creates an incredible contradiction between a luxurious world-made watch and an intervention of a human hand drawing. Trying to combine the concept of evolution from the original drawing to the finished product. And in the case of Bulgari, which I had the chance to see in flesh, they integrated the original design sketches of the Bulgari Octo Finissimo into a modern watch, offering a flat matted experience of a real drawing in there. Exactly what happened with this Casio manga. But getting back on topic, this model was launched in two versions. This white version with black accents, a fade blue tone with black accents as well, which doesn't look that good in my opinion. It does not emulate the feeling of paper, at least from the renders. So I obviously went with the white tone because of this. To add depth and volumes to a two-dimensional artboard, some different techniques are needed, like a thicker line to contrast what is in front and a thinner line to create what is in the foreground. But indeed, a new level of depth was needed to create volumes like this stippling technique. But what is interesting, because the Kasioke is a mix of depth and volumes, the secret is to put accents on the lines equally, no matter the depth to create the effect of a two-dimensional volume. That that's the beauty of this Kasioke, because due to the white flat resin case with the manga technique applied on top, it creates an effect out of this world. It feels like a two-dimensional paper watch trimmed from a piece of paper and then placed on the wrist, because the matted case does not borrow light or color accents from the exterior, reminding me of the Take On Me song. In the same theme of two-dimensional watch, there is the D1 Milano drawing watch, which is offered in white or black, following the same theme of a sketch, but without the manga flavor like the stippling effect. Now getting a bit physical, the watch comes into a micro cardboard box, it is themed with the same manga drawings, nothing spectacular overall. But surprisingly, or maybe say disappointingly, this watch is not entirely made in a monochrome tone, because the designers of G-Shock felt the need to put an accent there and bring the watch to our 3D reality with the accented standard minute hand, which is contrasted into a pale yellow tone. And I have to be honest with you, I was that close to open the watch and kind of outline that accented the pen just to make it from the same movie, because it feels out of the picture with the lacquered appearance alongside the black coated one. In my opinion, to make this watch really special, the minute markers should have been loomed and the hand should have been outlined accordingly, and if the black hour hand is okay, the yellow one should have been outlined in black to create a real ratio between the hands and the markers. However, I do have to salute the weak indicator recreated into a dialogue box which is super cool, quirky and complements the concept of this manga Kasioke. Also very interesting when zooming in we can spot the markers being sufficiently contrasted, having an uneven outline just to sustain the bespoke idea of human intervention or a hand drawing. 
which obviously it's just a print made on a computer and then printed on the cases. But what I'll promise you, I'll buy a plain Cassiope and I'll make a manga version as well because it's pretty simple. Just to show how easy it is to create one, but also to make it better accented and inclusive with well contrasted hands and lumen markers. The Cassiope case is unchanged, it is fully made from resin, having the same labeling on the octagonal outer bezel, having the branding engravings left white to create contrast against the black themed drawing outlines. So we can spot a clear architecture and importance, the markers inside of the dial being the most highlighted against the hands, but also the contrast offered by the negative display against the entire composition. And speaking about adding depth in two dimension, the stippling effect is present on the outer case and can be found on top and on the bottom part of the case, which highlights the fact that there is a volume, a curve which unifies the strap to the bezel. The same for the strap, the iconic G-Shock accordion is well contrasted through lines and dots to highlight their G-Shock identity. The rest of the strap being branded longitudinally in the same manga technique, having a white simple retainer. The case back is branded as well, having a thin kanji lettering which I don't know what it means, but it's not manga or G-Shock. As wearability and comfort, this obviously wears like the normal ones, nothing fancy, however this two-dimensional feeling added on a normal 3D context, it's spectacular, it's something apart. It totally gives you the feeling of adding a piece of paper on the wrist in the shape of a watch. That's super cool even for smaller wrists, because the specs are deceiving for this model, in reality it wears pretty small. So as specs, the GA2100 MNG has the same capabilities with a carbon core guard, which measures in the exterior 45mm with 48mm as lug tip to lug tip, 12mm in height and weights 51 grams. We have 20 bar as waterproofness, a mineral crystal, a bioresin outer case and inside we have the same GA module 5611 with the usual analog hands, a bottom right digital display, the wake indicator at 9 o'clock featuring the usual world time, stopwatch, calendar and so on. As price indeed this was higher price compared to the normal Casiox around $160 but besides the printing and the bespoke wake indicator the watch is pretty much the same so I am unsure why this was more expensive expensive honestly. As final thoughts, I'm really sorry for those who haven't had the chance to, to capture one, it is a limited edition and it was already sold out, so yeah, it is what it is. To catch limited editions in general you have to browse social media and obviously the bronze Instagram, but when it comes to the purchase you kind of have to be 100% convinced to take its reference and look for pre-orders no matter where you live. I bought mine from eBay from Japan, I sent it to the States and then home in Eastern Europe. And that is why it took so long. So, hope you enjoyed it and I'm really curious to know what do you think about this new Cassioke manga. Please let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you're new around, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time, be brave and stay safe.